So, ladies and gentlemen, the time has finally come. Ken is finally saying goodbye to Rusty, his beloved stealth cam rust bucket. As we all know, Ken purchased a second-hand vehicle with extremely high mileage on it. And all he's done for the past couple of years, he spent more and more money on that vehicle. Because Ken thought that that vehicle would last him for a good five, maybe six, maybe seven years. But all the videos he's ever done have been him repairing that vehicle and spending more and more money on that vehicle. And we know what Ken's like. He's bemoaned the fact that he's had to spend money on that vehicle. But what I've actually found is a very, very interesting comment that Ken has put on that last video. Now, in this comment, Ken actually claims that he'll be using the Mercedes Sprinter van for the foreseeable future. But then he will be purchasing a new stealth minivan. So if this is not a clear message to anyone that doesn't believe that Ken Domic of KBD Productions doesn't have money, I don't know what is. You know, he'll buy the latest technology. He'll buy the latest camera. He'll buy a top of the range Mac. 8,000, I think it was $7,000 he spent to get that Mac. All he does is edit YouTube videos. You know, that sort of price for a $7,000 Mac, that's a small film production, if that. So all these people that are subscribing to Ken, Ken Domic of KBD Productions TV, ask yourselves why. Or even people that are already subscribed to Ken Domic of KBD Productions TV, please ask yourselves why. All Ken does is review fast food. Or he wants to jump on the latest craze, be that dieting, intermittent fasting, cycling, stealth camping, but he always seems to jump on the trend far too late. And then when Ken's subscribers, be that not many that he actually has that are actually active subscribers, comment on that, and even some of the newer subscribers, they make comments to give Ken feedback. And more and more I've seen in Ken's comments, the sarcastic replies that Ken gives. Let's all remember, Ken doesn't like criticism. Be that positive or negative criticism, he takes it as full-blown criticism. He can't take it as constructive feedback. He never will be able to do so. Ladies and gentlemen, it, it, it's clear. All the reaction channels are reacting to Ken for one reason. Ken joined YouTube over 10 years ago because he wanted to make money. And as you, if you look, for example, on Social Blade, you'll see every so often 1,000 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers. And people have been scratching their heads and saying, how is that possible? Well, it's very simple and very easy to understand. On YouTube, you can promote a video. You know, you can buy promotion for that video or for a, a series of videos that you may be wanting to put out there. So every so often when Ken's bored or he believes that his videos aren't going the way that they should, 
He just buys he just buys subscriptions, subscribers. It's a very, very easy thing to do. And of course, let's not forget what Ken will do when he buys those subscribers. He will get the receipt and he will write that off. He will again put that through YouTube so it's not actually costing him any money. So to Ken's subscribers, ask yourself this. What are you subscribing for? You're not getting value for money. All the channel members that Ken's got, what are you actually paying for? You're not paying for what Ken is providing. Doesn't do live streams anymore. All he wants to do is pour more and more money into getting smaller and smaller cameras. So he can go into restaurants and film himself. But then that opens the door for the more voyeuristic side of it. If he's got a smaller camera, he knows he can get away with far more filming. And it's concerning. You know, it is so concerning what Ken has been doing for years and years and years and getting away with it. You know, the average, the, when he goes out and, and one of my subscribers quite rightly commented recently and they said, Ken spends a ridiculous amount of money for himself for food. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, a hundred dollars just for himself. There are families and individuals all across the world nowadays that that's a considerable amount of money. That's your gas bill, that's your electricity bill, that's fuel for your car, that's your internet bill, that's your phone bill. But because Ken gets away with it by writing off everything that he spends, he, he couldn't care. He does not care. So what I want you to do when you've watched this video, share this video, like this video, send it to your family, send it to your friends, or if you are one of Ken's subscribers on his Discord, for example, share it on Discord. Get it through to the people that are doubters and still believers that Ken of KBD Productions TV is a great person. He doesn't care one bit about his subscribers. Yes, granted, from time to time, he will say, hey, one of my subscribers is poorly. He'll go and visit them. But he's only doing that for views. He genuinely does not care about any one of his subscribers. The reaction channels cannot make it clear enough. He is in it for the money. He is in it for greed. That's it. It's plain and simple. Once more and more people start realising what he does, you know, he is just a greedy youtuber and i applaud you to like share and comment on this video and i'll see you on the next one bye for now
Well, ladies and gentlemen, Ken, for many years now, has been claiming that he's barely getting by in life. But who's he kidding? You'll always see him with the latest item, be that the latest iWatch, iPhone, or the latest bike, because he loves his cycling, doesn't he, Ken? But he never seems to lose enough weight doing that cycling. And more recently, with Ken and Carol Domick celebrating their 30th wedding anniversary, and lo and behold to everyone, Ken and Carol have gone on a cruise. They've embarked on a wonderful cruise around Europe. Now, for somebody that barely or claims to be barely getting by in life, that's quite an expense. So, as I haven't been around for a while, and I thank you all for sticking with me, and I'm back now, better than ever, I just thought I'd run a quick video just to show you roughly the sort of price that Ken and Carol have paid for that cruise. Now, granted, it's not going to be exact facts and figures because the cruise, they're currently on it at the moment and it won't show that exact cruise. But what I've done is I've sort of mirrored what Ken and Carol are currently on at the moment for the year 2026. So as you can see above there on the screen, the price for the cruise that Ken and Carol have gone on is well over £1,700. And this is for someone that claims to be barely getting by in life barely able to sustain his lifestyle. Let's all remember Ken quit his job working for the school board, quit his job to become a YouTuber. No one has forced him to do that. No one twisted his arm or strong armed him into becoming a YouTuber. But as soon as Ken saw the potential of how much money he could be making, that was it. He wiped his hands of the real work in this world. There are so many people, and many more people now, with the way that the financial uncertainty of this world we are currently in at the moment. There are many families that can't even afford to go on a holiday even if it's only in the same country that they live in there's many people that can't even afford it but not ken domic isn't it surprising how ken has been able to afford this holiday and let's not forget this people let's not forget the clear facts that we are more than aware of Carol Domic has, and this has been shown and proven by KDRC and the other reaction channels, Carol Domic has a considerable amount of money, roughly around about two million Canadian dollars from the sale of her mother's property. So the Domics themselves are sat on a considerable amount of money. Now, granted, it sounds and it looks to be that Carol is pulling the purse strings and not blowing that money, which is a sensible thing to do. But when you bemoan the fact that you don't really work for a living, you're only a YouTuber, but then you'll buy an expensive electrical item or the latest camera, or the latest drone, whatever Ken needs to itch that itch that he needs the best item, just to show off that, well, you haven't got one. <laughs> I have, I'm Ken Domic. I need that latest item, that latest bit of technology 
just to feel less shallow than it currently is. So ladies and gentlemen, yes, I'm back. I've been away and it's been great. I do thank every single one of you for continuing to be one of my subscribers. The videos, they are going to increase. I've got a little bit of new technology here and there that I've invested in to improve the quality of these videos. So thank you all for sticking with me and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.